Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so importantly for always tuning in. I really do appreciate. If you do the first time you are coming across us, or you are hearing our voice for the first time, we still remain your one and only, ever ready, bringing it to you, as you all know. So, my wonderful family, without not wasting much of your time, today I just want us to do quick, quick. Please, rest to the writing at the right time. Huge, and we know what to do because if we make this another mistake, disaster will take over Nigeria. I don't think that many people that thought they had peace will find that peace. Why? Because the country is already collapsed. Don't say that God did not select her, and the person that can change the country. Is a man from the east. And the man from the east is what God showed me. I love everybody. I like everybody. But I am talking to you as a prophet. And God showed me. Don't say I did not say this to you. Anybody that enter to that seat, all of you people will see it with your eyes. You will see the pain more than you have seen before. Let us go and move and make our country again. God, feel the anger and the pain we are going through. That is why he went to the heart of this young man, force him. Force him to come out. And when the person is talking, and you discover that this person is not talking by himself, that is God speaking from his voice. And when he's talking, he's talking on peace with everybody. We are talking about one Nigeria, if we want it, in 2023. And let us pick the right person for the future of everybody. Both outside, both Igbo, both Yoleba, for the future of everybody. And let's move and deliver this nation. Let's gather together and come out together and also build our nation and pick this old. That is the man that God showed me that will be a Messiah to deliver this country. I see O on that area. We are not against you in any of your plan, but listen to me. This is what God showed me. It's a son. Don't. Keep quiet. This is what I say. Make sure that you speak this voice that I told you. I see election planned to be manipulated by these people. Try to select it. Try to manipulate the vote. Listen to me. Manipulating that vote and do election the way we do in that former the, to the president that is now. It will cause a lot of damages. I see streets more than you see at the answers happen in 2023. The election must be done rightly. Why? Because God has prepared to change this country. And he has bring himself down to help this country to be liberated. Why? Because God is angry, looking for how to break the country. But listen to me, this is a man God wants to use, and he is no other person, is oh, a man from the east. <laughs> May the name of the Lord be praised. I love you all. I hate nobody. But what I am saying is a voice of God. Let everybody remove anything about politics now to this.
this country. Politics has destroyed this country. And politics has already tried everything possible to make all of us to kill ourselves one by one. The anger that is coming, if 2023 are not selected by this person, the anger that coming, you yourself that thought you have a security, you don't have any security. Don't say that the prophet did not warn you. This nation belongs to all of us. And all of us must put it together and to make sure that we make this country to come back alive again. Why? Because the nation, this country is already dead. Please remove this your politics mindset and party mindset. We are not talking about party now. What we are talking is about the Messiah that can restore the disaster that politicians has caused in this country. I will never stop speaking and I have rise to talk about this government. Before I got so many upset when God speaking to me, I go not do that. I say, God, I don't want to talk anything about people that cannot rest. And God said, no, I have raised you again. If you don't say what I tell you to say, then I will destroy you, the lion. And I said, Lord, no. Now I am coming out to be given the message. We have every resource it takes for this nation to become greater than other countries. But because we are not listening to God, we are selecting by what we desire. These are what makes this great nation down. We need to collect this. Everybody, all the youths, thank God that I hear when President Goodluck saying, he say, youth, stop leaving the position of presidential government for we old men. Is the President Goodluck said it with his own mouth. The youth, this government, for this country to change is in your hand. So stop leaving it for we old men. It's what President Goodrock said, which is all mouth. They know. Why? Because we are the young men that know what we want. We know the style we needed. We know, we know the future we want. We, we like something, uh, something new coming. We, 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 look for, we look for new creativities. That is young men. We need something flashy. We need something, something, uh, something good, something enjoyable. So when the youth is in position to read, then they create a nation that they will enjoy. And like my old father, is no more talking to build a new house. Am I sure you are getting me? My father is not talking to build, he's an old man. They can't talk to build a new house or modern house. Or looking to build a house that will be in a liver where they will build a lot of, a, a lot of new boats. My father, my old father will not be thinking about new modern things. What my father will be thinking is about ancient. Amen. Let's. I'm not trying to, but I'm trying to make sure you understand why we are going back. The country that we are into is total dead. Let nobody start to talk and talking and talking. The country is dead. When you come to this east, nothing is working in the east. It's because of this government. Everything that happened in the east today is because of government is because of the politics because everywhere is fair so you affecting everybody if you go to north trouble if you go to the east trouble if you go to the Yoruba trouble everywhere everybody is looking for who to fight to and you are there you carry silent you are moving like this and you are talking because if you maybe you are covered and protected 
your mind, you are not covered and you are not safe because the anger that is coming will affect everybody. Let us allow the right to happen in 2023. Let move yourself. Those that have zeal because there's a lot of people say, it is not me. Uh, yes, uh, give me the seat I want to rule. No, presidential seat is not give me the seat I want to rule. Give me the seat I want to rule. No, it's not it. I pray for everybody that are here. I have met Peter B. Uh, the, the time he was in his own government. It's only one man that I bring me, first person that bring me in government house. And when he come, he kneeled down and I prayed for him when he was a governor. I pray by the name of Jesus, Nigeria, God have loved you again. And that is why he brings such man to you. Don't say, I did not say this. If you make a long mistake, you will remember this step. And nothing we say because we hate anybody. I love everybody. I like everybody. But I'm talking about the future of this our country. This country belongs to all of us, you and I. No one on this country personal. And no one is in this country to say, I am this, I am that. We are one. Let us move this country forward with the right person. This is all in Jesus' name. So, my politics people, that brings us to the end of this update. Do where to like this video, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Subscription is free. Please smash on that and subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, from here, I said bye.